welcome back to the show. Unfortunately, I can't let you go to the daily news wrap because you just saw all of our super creepy transformation photos from like when I was in middle school and I don't want to let you remember that. So how will I make you forget that? You ask, maybe by doing this long ramble, maybe I have some kind of device that I'm hypnotizing you with as we speak. Maybe it's a radio frequency. Maybe it's a television frequency. Photos? What photos? Did we even see any photos today? All right, well, now that we can't remember anything that happened this episode, looks like it's time to go to the Daily News Wrap. Hello all and welcome to the Daily News Wrap. We have some major beef today. Mariah Carey is doing her best to create some tension this season. While speaking to Andy Cohen, Mariah continued to say that she does seriously not know a variety of musical stars. After famously saying for years that she does not know Jennifer Lopez, Mariah now turned her wrath towards Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato responded to a meme that negatively compared Ariana Grande to Mariah Carey. Demi commented saying, Mariah's a legend and she's so talented but she constantly disses people. It's nasty the way she treats Jennifer Lopez. Ari did nothing wrong. True that, Demi. I love when a woman stands up for another woman. To this, Mariah responded saying, I don't know Demi either, so I wouldn't say anything to her. She should come up and introduce herself to me and say, here's my opinion, what do you think about it? Mariah does, however, approve of at least three other singers, including Lady Gaga, Taylor Swift, and Britney Spears. In some other juicy news, Fifth Harmony just lost their five-note harmony. Now it's only four harmonies. On Instagram, late Sunday evening, they announced that Camila Cabello has left the group. They wrote, after four and a half years of being together, we have been informed via her representatives that Camilla has decided to leave Fifth Harmony. We wish her well. It continued, you harmonizers have been there with us since the beginning. You've supported us and with your love and support, we will continue on. That being said, we are excited to announce that we will be moving forward with the four of us. Ali, Normani, Dina Jane, and Lauren for our fans. This year hasn't been all too smooth behind the scenes. Lauren asked to switch spots with Dina Jane during a red carpet event, which was an incident that pushed her to speak out on the matter after facing criticism from internet trolls. Normani and Camila also had to clear the air on an alleged feud going on between them after Normani seemed to shade her fellow group member in a Facebook live chat. A few days later, Normani deleted her Twitter account amid racist cyberbullying. In some more fun news, Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom decided to sing some major karaoke at Shannon Woodward's birthday party. The birthday was at the Blind Dragon in West Hollywood. Katy rocked out to the song You Oughta Know, and Katy Perry also documented the birthday jam on Snapchat, sharing a video of Orlando Bloom singing Avril Lavigne's Complicated. She added the caption, this is what the holidays look like. Shannon Woodward sent out a birthday tweet saying, 32 years ago today, my mom had the most painful night of her life. Thanks for letting me grow inside you like a tumor, mom. Shannon Woodward is an actor on set of the show Westworld on HBO. The day after the party, Katie and Orlando visited Disneyland in Anaheim, California. Clearly, they've been having an epic weekend. In even more exciting news, Margot Robbie reportedly married longtime boyfriend Tom Ackerley in Byron Bay over the weekend. The 26-year-old Suicide Squad star was reportedly given away by her mother. Her two brothers were also in attendance, and her sister is believed to have served as Robbie's maid of honor. Sources claim that they wrote their own wedding vows. The couple never publicly announced an engagement, so this is all speculation and perhaps some hope. Although Robbie sparked rumors that they planned to wed when she showed up at the premiere of her movie, The Legend of Tarzan, while wearing a massive pink halo diamond ring. So far, no photos of the supposed wedding ceremony have surfaced online. However, a couple of Instagram posts hinted as much. One of Robbie's brothers teased that he was on holiday, while Ackerley's brothers tagged a popular wedding venue in Byron Bay in one photo. Not all is well in paradise. Rob Kardashian and Black Chyna seemed to be doing fine when Dream Kardashian was born, but this weekend, the truth has come forward. After Chyna's Instagram account was hacked, allegedly, on Saturday, tensions came to a head and it was all on display on social media. Alleged conversations between Chyna and her lawyer, Jaden Smith, and Young Thug revealed that Chyna's thoughts about her fiancé didn't seem to be that great. 
In one text message, China called Rob lazy, fat, and insecure. And then she was said, quoting, I'ma give Rob one year to get it together or I'm gone. Right after the hacking, China launched a new Instagram page where she posted a video claiming the hack was done by someone who was, quote, really, 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 really mad. Rob said on Instagram, Sorry to be so open, but I'm not feeling so good after seeing Black China's messages about me and what her plans were. However, Black China's mom, Tokyo Tony, had something else to say. She called Rob emotionally disturbed and mentioned that he searches China's phone all too often. She stated he's a very emotional guy with many, many personal issues. I love Rob and I'm going to try to help them manage their relationship through love and wise word. And this is all too much beef for just one day. That's it for the Daily News Wrap. Well, that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. You might wonder what we're doing as of right now. We're, we're actually live. We are we're all actually live. live. All we're three Insta of us live. live. At the same time. Follow us on Just 24 7 or each of our handles. And please keep watching the show because you guys are awesome. And catch us tomorrow. Bye. Yes, bye. bye. Thank you so much. Thanks, bye. So let's just use like the glow up challenge. Is what is dub? Better? Dub like it's. It's um, when you're something that no one wants.